So my girlfriend asked me to make her a ring bowl to keep her ring safe when she wasn't wearing it. And I'm kind of a huge Lord of the Rings nerd. So what I decided to do is make the one ring bowl to rule them all. In order to do this, I found some nice, beautiful curly maple. And I'm gonna take this over to the wood lathe and try to make an end grain bowl. This way, the this beautiful curl is continuous all the way around the outside of the bowl. Once I have that turned, I'm gonna take it over to our laser engraver here at my local makerspace, and I'll laser engrave the one ring inscription all the way around the outside. Okay, so I have my blank rounded out. I'm gonna be doing an end grain bowl, which means that the grain is running this way, which means I'll be hollowing out the end grain of the bowl. When you're hollowing end grain, it's really tough to avoid tear out. So I'll be trying a few different techniques just to see which works best. I'm real happy with how this is coming out. All I gotta do now is just flip it around and clean up the outside. So I'm gonna try to make what's called a jam chuck. That's where I shave down my scrap wood just until it barely fits on the inside of this bowl. And then I could use a paper towel to really jam it on there. That way it's gonna hold it tight for me as I try to clean up the bottom. <laughs> So I've got the one ring inscription loaded up in Illustrator. All I have to do now is find out the circumference of this bowl. So if you remember anything from your high school math class, what I need is the diameter and then I can multiply that by pi and I'll have the circumference. I'm also gonna measure the height of the bowl so that I can make sure my inscription doesn't exceed the height of the bowl or run into itself going around the outside. So fortunate to have access to this laser engraver. This final touch really just seals the deal. This thing is coming out so great. I'm really happy with how it came out. There we have it, a ring bowl forged in the fires of a CO2 laser engraver. I'm really psyched about how this thing came out. I think the curly maple is beautiful as always. Honestly, I think it's perfect.